guys, so because we're coming on Christmas, Hanukkah, and the holiday season, a lot of people do stocking stuffers, you know, like with your family, I'm sure you know what they are. Um, I've only ever had a stocking, I think, I think I had a stocking twice actually, and I remember one year I made stockings for my family and it turned out horribly. I like knitted them and they were just really bad. Anyway, I thought it'd be kind of cool to like give my opinion on what some really good stocking stuffer ideas would be. And I mean, they're kind of aimed for people who have chronic illnesses. So if you have any friends who have a chronic illness or like a family member and you're stuffing their stocking, here would be some really good ideas in my opinion. So none of these are sponsored, but I actually made an affiliate link to Amazon. So if you purchase any of these like through that link that I have next to them, um, I get like the tiniest percent. Uh, so just so you know, but it doesn't like cost you anything more. Okay, first one, Epsom salts. They feel really good in the bath, they definitely relax your muscles, and sometimes when people have muscle spasms, they can help. The next one is blue light blocking glasses. They're pretty inexpensive, they're small, so they fit in the stocking, and they're really, really useful. If you don't know what they are, they block some of the blue light coming from your computer. Um, that can sometimes just cause a little bit of extra fatigue in your eyes. I know sometimes like if I'm using my computer for a while, I definitely do experience eye fatigue, and that may be due to the blue light. So sometimes I wear them and I think that it does help. Also, I don't know if I said, but they can be pretty inexpensive, so that's good. Next one is a stuffed animal. I just find stuffed animals really sweet. I have like a bunch of them. I know one of you guys sent me something that like was so meaningful. It was one of like Ellie the elephant, like the thing that Jackie had. Um, and I found it on Amazon. It's a, I think the brand's Jelly Cat. Um, anyway, I just love that so much. So I think that stuffed animals of any kind are really awesome. So you'll also see a little bit of overlap with my giveaway because I love the stuff that I gave away in my giveaway. This is for your keys. It holds your pills in it and I can fit like a decent number of pills in here. I mean, not that many, but like there's different size ones too. Um, yeah, it's awesome because there have been so many times where I leave like my little bag of pills or pill bottle at home that holds like all my like pills on the go. And when you're in a situation where you realize you really do need that medication, like it sucks to not have it really sucks. I find deep blue rub to be helpful. They sell the full size bottles, but these are like little packets. Um, so like they're good or they're good or, oh my God, they're good on the go. Um, and yeah, I, I highly recommend these. They kind of feel like, um, so they have like a similar feel to something such as like, why can't I think of the word? Um, icy hot, like something like that. Um, but they're a little bit different and I feel like a little bit stronger, but a little bit different at the same time. So I do like these and they're small and they fit well in a little stocking, you know, and they last a while. They're, they, they're, they're good for pain. That's what I'm trying to say. This one I don't have, but I kind of really want to have it. Heated socks. I was searching on Amazon and there seems to be quite a few heated sock companies. The one that I'm putting down the link and showing here had like the best reviews. Um, you know, you don't want your feet catching on fire or anything like that, but I would totally get some of those and I'm thinking about getting them just because like my feet like physically get so cold and I have rain in my hands and I mean, I kind of have it at my feet too, just not nearly as bad. And I know that a lot of people with chronic illnesses happen to also have brain nodes. Uh, so that will hopefully help them. I'm a little bit foggy right now, I'm realizing, because I'm like struggling to get all my words out. Um, but that's okay, because I think you guys understand me. I realized I forgot to take my calcium today, so I'm taking some calcium gummies. Noon hydration, I really like this. I put it in my water and it's like becomes bubbly and it has some salt in it and potassium and maybe some other things. Um, I don't know, but I think it's good for pots. And I take this, I mean, I try to take it every day, but sometimes I don't, sometimes I take it more than once a day. It just depends on the day. But it's small and they taste pretty good. Salt stick, I take this all the time. I take the Vitalsium one too, which is just salt, but I forgot to grab it. Um, and then this one's the Fast Chews. Um, and they have a lot more salt in them. I mean, the salt pills have like a crap ton of salt. Um, and this is really good for people who have POTS, obviously, or I mean, not necessarily, you don't have to have low blood pressure with POTS, but it's really good for people with like orthostatic hypotension, hypotension, sometimes POTS, you know, things like that. They have a really, really strong taste. So just letting you know, I like it a lot, but like just in case you don't like really strong tastes, <laughs> then maybe go for the pill version. Hand sanitizer. I mean, it could just be that I'm a germaphobe, but also 
we don't want to get, as they say, muggle sick, you know, we don't want to get normal person sick on top of our chronic illnesses. Um, for some of us, we have like, you know, bad immune systems, but even still, it's like when you already don't feel good on a daily basis, you don't want to feel any worse. So hand sanitizer definitely comes in handy. Back massager. I have one of these. I'm not sure where it is right now. I have a different one than the one I'm posting down below because I could not find the same one that I have. Uh, but honestly, the one I have pretty crappy, so it's probably good that I'm not posting the one that I have. Um, and it's really good just kind of like, you know, getting those knots that you can't really reach easily. And if you do have EDS, you might be able to reach them, but you know you shouldn't because that's not good to do. I say just because you can do it does not mean you should do it. Yes, I can touch my back and technically massage back there, but no, I should not because don't, you know, go within your non-normal range of motion. Why did my timer just go red on my thing? That's weird. Hope that doesn't mean like something weird's happening with it. Okay, I actually figured out what that just meant. That meant that my SD card was full and thank goodness I had a spare with 128 gigabytes, which is really big. Um, so we're good, <laughs> we can continue. Now this one is one of my favorites. This is not something to buy, but this is something that I think is really meaningful and helpful. I think that a lot of people with chronic illness find it difficult to ask their friends for things that they need, which is understandable that it's difficult, but sometimes we place too much stress on ourselves and we make it, like we, we don't use our friends for, just <laughs> use your friends, you don't use your friends for what your friends are for. And sometimes friends are super willing to help you out and it's hard to ask for that. So I think maybe making little notes or little like, you know, a little piece of paper and the present being like a favor or something I could help you out with. So do your laundry. That could be something that you put inside somebody's, um, what's the word, stocking. Um, a foot massage, I'll take a foot massage. Like another thing would be like, pick up your meds or maybe make your dinner um, or make us dinner, you know, or like help with food prep, like things like that. And only put a couple of them in there, you know, it, or it could be all the presents, it could be one thing, you know, it could be whatever it is that you want it to be. But I think that, time and help is so valuable and honestly so much more valuable than most of the things that you're going to get in a stocking stuffer so if you can offer up like your services to your friends just help them out and having it on something like this and being like i hope you use this for the next three four weeks or something you know like hopefully it's an incentive to get them to ask for help and for them to really know that you mean i'm here to help you Next, Jade Roller. I only say this because it feels really nice to roll for real good. It feels so good for the TMJ. I mean, you can't, TMJD, you can't get, you know, too hard in there just out of fear of breaking this. And I don't care about crystals at all. So I'm not being rude to crystals. You know, they could be very nice too. But I'm just saying I don't use this because I believe in the power of crystals. I just use it because they're inexpensive and they feel great on the jaw. So I recommend this. Also, Oh, I'm getting off topic. Do you ever notice sometimes where like I'm talking and I f it sounds like I'm like, it's really weird. I like don't pronounce my words correctly. And this only happens sometimes. It's because my jaw is very tight with TMJD. So I like can't always open it very well. Like I can, but it like is stiff. It's harder to do that. Then every once in a while, I'll say a word strangely and I don't notice that I'm saying it strangely. And then when I listen back, I'm like, I never say that word that way. Like, what is wrong with me? So if you ever notice that, I can tell right now it's a little bit like stiff. That would be why. Ginger chews. Oh, I love ginger chews so much. They're good for nausea. They're not like they're not, they're not great for nausea, but they're pretty good for nausea. I used to have like ginger candies all the time. Um, they're small. They're inexpensive. They taste great. And yeah. <laughs> cooling towel um my cooling towel is somewhere over in that direction and i realized i forgot to grab it and put it on my bed with my other stuff and i'm not gonna get up and get it because i like i just don't want to um but you know what heat what cooling towels look like um they're really good to put some water on top of preferably cold water squeeze it out and it doesn't really retain that much water but it does stay cold i think the water is just continuously evaporating off of it but it's not wet enough to like get you wet you know um and it feels good in the summertime if you struggle with you know being in the heat so a grabber tool like to grab your stuff that's kind of a little bit too far to reach you know but like it's still not that far like you know okay 
Uh, anyway, that would be pretty awesome. I don't have one of these, but it just seems really cool. And I think that for a lot of people, when it's difficult to get up, maybe your pots is flaring, maybe, I don't know, I can think of a million reasons as to why it'd be difficult. You dislocated a shoulder, and I don't mean to make this all about pots and ADS, but I'm saying it could be for like anybody with a chronic illness, energy that it uses, it's really good. Do not always reach for things. It might be easy to reach for it with a router. I feel like I'm not doing a good job explaining these things. Dry shampoo, it's a given. Sometimes it's difficult to shower. It can take a lot of your spoons, you know, take up a lot of energy. Maybe it's painful. Maybe it makes your pots bad, whatever it is. Showering sometimes can be difficult and showering both your body and your hair can be difficult at the same time So some days you have to do your body other days your hair totally acceptable totally fine chronic illness That's just how it works, but because of that sometimes you need to use dry shampoo So I think that we can always use some good dry shampoo face wipes Sometimes you're tired and you're not feeling good or you know You, ha you don't have any energy left and you don't want to get up to wash your face I hate any sort of blame or like any kind of idea that somebody's like hygiene is bad because their chronic illness makes it difficult for them to shower every single day or something like that. Like that's the way it is. They're gonna do what they can do. So anyway, you can't always wash your face. So having face wipes is really, really, really helpful. A big reusable water bottle and in my opinion, one with a straw. This one I believe is 24 ounces and the thing is is that I drink a lot of water sorry I thought I had a burp and then I didn't um so I like got really prepared um my wait what was I talking about water oh yeah I drink a lot of water and so I don't want to keep getting up I think anybody would not want to keep getting up but then when you got a couple other factors you know I got my pots I got my EDS so I really want to walk over to the kitchen probably not it's like mm. so by having this I mean a big one you don't have to walk over and then you also don't have to like unscrew the cap like that's just annoying like I'm sorry you just kind of want to eliminate those extra steps for you to drink your water does that make sense and somebody without a chronic illness might just say we're being lazy I mean I'm not gonna say that I'm not lazy sometimes because I am but fatigue and laziness are not the same thing um, and not doing something because it's going to fatigue you or you're fatigued and it's not worth the energy that is not laziness so you need to make everything as easy as possible so you can take like the fewest steps to do what you need to do and having a straw so you don't have to like unscrew it in a big water bottle so you don't have to refill it all the ow i hurt my wrist that was weird it's fine now okay a gripper i gave this one away in my giveaway too it's where you can grip something easily in the kitchen you know if it's hard not not grip it i mean like like twist it untwist something. It can be very difficult to do that for anybody. So this is especially helpful if you have some type of chronic illness that affects your joints. Maybe you have arthritis, you know, something like that. This is super helpful. I hope you guys liked my stocking stuffer uh, ideas. Um, if you have any other really good stocking stuffer ideas that are kind of chronic illness base they don't even have to be you know they can be for anybody um let me know down in the description like in, in the comments not the description don't don't write in my description just kidding you can't even if you want to um, unless you like stole my username and my password oh my god this is what i do this is this what this is the stuff that gets cut out in my videos that you never see it'd be really funny if i just went through and like found all the videos i mean not all the videos but like clips where i do things like this because i go off on tangents like and i'm just like what am I doing? Like, as I'm filming this, do I think I'm gonna put this in? Oh my God, I'm doing it right now. Do you see this? I am doing it right now. I'm gonna have to leave. Okay, I'll see you guys on another video. Bye.